Hi, I'm Celeste, and welcome to Find Your Purple. Well, I thought I'd answer three of the questions I get all the time when people find out I don't eat meat. The first is, what's the difference between a vegetarian and a vegan? And basically, the vegetarian doesn't eat meat, but it does eat dairy and eggs. The vegan does not. The second one is, what's the difference between a vegan and a plant-based eater, which is what I consider myself. And the difference there is more of an ethical one. Sometimes I'll say I'm a vegan because it's just simpler and people know what a vegan is generally. But the difference is a vegan is more what you don't eat. You don't eat anything that was a living you know, creature with a face or that had a mother, I guess. Um, while a plant-based eater is about what you do eat. You eat anything that is grown by plants. A vegan also is more of an ethical decision that it's better for the planet and they feel it's about the cruelty to animals. And while I support the fact that being a plant-based seeder, no one has to die in the bargain and that it is better for the planet, I started it because of health reasons. So that would be the third question. Why did I start? Uh, why did I decide not to eat meat? And the reason is when I was 62, I was feeling old for the first time in my life. I was depressed, I guess. Not clinically, but I just hated the idea of getting old. And I just didn't have the energy, and I just thought that was the beginning of the end. So I decided to work out, and I went to the YMCA, and I hired a trainer for six weeks to help me learn how to use the equipment. She was several years older than me, but she looked much younger. She was brighter, vivacious, and we got talking and I found out she was a vegan. So I started asking questions and she encouraged me to watch the movie Fork Over Knives. That was my entry into a plant-based diet. Then we talked about the China study. And then she recommended several medical doctors that I could check out their websites, their YouTube videos. Uh, Dr. McGregor, I mean, Dr. Gregor, Dr. McDougall, Dr. Ornish, Dr. Esselstyn, Dr. T. Colin Campbell uh, come to mind. And after watching that, by the end of the weekend, I felt I'd give it a try. So I immediately, overnight, switched to no meat. I thought I'd try it for 30 days and see what I thought. I didn't think I could do it because my favorite food up to that point was prime rib with a baked potato filled with sour cream, butter, bacon bits. And if it had broccoli on the side, maybe I'd eat the broccoli, maybe I wouldn't. But by the end of 30 days, I could see a difference in my face. The puffiness was gone. I can't say I felt a lot different otherwise, but I did seem to feel I was brighter. So I stayed on it and that was six years ago. Uh, the first four years, I was really close to 100%. Then I opened the door and I had salmon. I kind of gotten to the point now, I had salmon three months ago. If I want it, I'm gonna eat it. There's no police saying you're cheating. So I may have salmon sometimes, I may not. If I'm at a wedding, I'm going to have a piece of cake. I don't care if it has butter and egg in it. I'm going to have a piece of cake. So now I'm just not quite as strict. I'd say I was 95% or better, but not 100%. So uh, again, it has been six years. I'm now almost 69. I'll be 69 in a couple months. And I feel younger than I did six, when I was 62. So it's been a good journey, a lot easier than I expected it to be and an unexpected journey for me. But that's it for now. And as always, grab your cup of tea, sit back, and let's start sharing. Until next time, bye-bye.